Welcome to the channel guys. Today our topic is how to record temperature data from Arduino and send it to WhatsApp using Python. So the topics what we are going to be covering is we will create a Trello account and connect our mobile device to Trello WhatsApp. Then we will install uh, a software for data logging. We will also install some necessary Python packages using pip. We will write a program for Arduino to take the temperature sensor input and display to the serial monitor. We will write the program in Python. This is my Arduino and I have connected it to the temperature sensor using some wires. You can follow along, do, do the same. You can find the data sheet in description below or you can view another YouTube video where they show you how you can connect the sensor to the Arduino. This is the code right here which I am going to be using and this code can be found in the description below. You will need two libraries. One is the one wire library and the other is the uh, Dell S temperature library. Uh, I am going to be using the pin 8 to send the signals and it is going to take in the temperature values and it is going to convert them into centigrade and Fahrenheit. After it has done that, it will send it to the serial monitor. It, it is going to display those values in the serial monitor. So what you want to do is correct the, uh, connect to the correct device and select the correct COM port, mine is COM3, and upload the program. After the program is uploaded, check the serial monitor and if it's displaying values and if you try to change the temperature by putting your hand on it or uh, bringing it into a cool room and if the temperature changes then it works. Now what you want to do is uh, go to the website down in the description and download Roger Meyer's cool term software. This is going to be used as the data logging software. So download it and install it. The Arduino program will be running, so open up this uh, cool term software and what you want to do is connect. Click the connect button, it will automatically connect to the serial monitor of the Arduino. Be sure to close the serial monitor of the Arduino IDE. After that's done, go to the connection tab and what you want to do is come down here and click on the start. It's going to help us to create a text file of uh, the values we are getting. So save it as uh, message.txt and it's going to be updating this file by itself. So save it and keep it in the file and we are going to make a python file also in that folder. So these, the python file and the txt file must be in the same folder. So keep this program running. What you want to do is come to the Trello website, link in the down in the description below, sign up Click on the sign up button and you will be proceeded with a sign up uh, first name, last name, email, password, fill these out. And when you sign up, you will come up to a page like this. What you want to do is go to the programmable SMS area. You will come up to the console dashboard like this. What you want to do is click the WhatsApp option. After you have clicked it, you are going to get something like this. So this is your WhatsApp number of Trello. Save this and open it in your WhatsApp mobile. And what we are going to do is we are going to put this code, we are going to send a message, this message to this number and it is going to register our mobile number uh, so that it can send so we can do debugging and stuff like that in this sandbox. So I'm going to type it right here. Join raw dash dull. After that's done, if I receive a message and there we go, we have connected successfully. Now what you want to do is click on the next send one way message. Click any three of these options. It doesn't matter. After you have done that, you will be come up with a page like this. What you want to do is click check the box and go down in the drop down menu and select Python. After that's done, 
copy all the text and open up your favorite IDE. Now we are going to program some of, uh, now we are going to program. First, before programming in Python, we have to install a package of Twitter, uh, Twilio. So what you want to do is pip install Twilio. What you want to do is proceed to your IDE. I'm here in my Visual Studio code. So what I'm, on, I'm going to do is import Twilio like this from Twilio.rest import client. Then what I'm going to do is import time. I'm going to set a variable temp and I'm going to set it to nothing. We are going to use this variable later in the program. I'm also going to set another variable last underscore line and I'm going to set it to nothing. This last underscore line is going to pick up the last line from the message.txt file. So we're going to start a while loop. So while true and this part is of the creating the message file and writing, uh, reading from it. So with open as file and inside the open parenthesis, I'm going to put message.txt, the file which we have created. And this must be in the same file as this uh, sms2.py which we are using. And I'm going to type r because we are going to read it. We are not going to write it. So what you want to do is initialize another variable and we're going to say first line equals to file dot read line and put parenthesis. Now I'm going to say a for loop so for last line in file I want you to pass it's going to go to all the values and come to the last value so we're going to save that last value in the temp variable so temp equals to last underscore line After that's done, what you want to do is paste the code that we copied earlier from the Trello website. And this is all the code. We are going to paste it inside the while loop. So indent the account SID and auth token, uh, the client and the message uh, code so that we don't get any unnecessary bugs and after that's indented I'm going to change this message.sid into message sent so message sent so our program is almost completed I'm going to put a time dot sleep so after one second it sends us a message and uh, we are going to change the body to the temp variable. Be sure to remove the parent, uh, the quotation marks so it registers it as a variable. And after one second, it's going to continuously send us messages. If you turn it to 1800 seconds, it's going to send you messages for every 30 minutes, half an hour. So, and uh, fix this error guys, the temp variable is equal to the last underscore line. It should not be in quotation marks because this is not a string, we are using a variable. And run the program and it will work. Be sure to keep the Python file and the txt file in the same folder. Run the program and if you don't get errors, you'll get the same result as I have. As you can see, the, the message is being sent and I'm getting the message in WhatsApp. So the benefit of this is I can be anywhere in the world and if I have a server room or anything else that 
needs temperature uh, maintenance and uh, I need temperature uh, checking of it all the time. This program can be useful. So if you run into errors, make sure that the message.txt and the, your Python file are in the same place. They are together. Just like this, as I will show you in my files as well. I would really appreciate if you have any ideas you would like to share and I will make a future video on them as well. Be sure to subscribe and take care.